Welcome back to Dan Chess Lounge, everyone. It's Sunday. We're getting ready to start our day. We're going to go to the groceries. We're going to go get something to eat. And you guys are invited along. Come hey, on. guys. We just headed over to... Oh, it's the, that's that new Chris Brown. Hey, we just headed over to uh, Walmart to do our, our daily uh, grocery shopping and uh, get our groceries for the week. But uh, I had a question for you guys. Like, how do you guys handle losses? Because that's a big part of chess, you know. Unless you're like uh, a prodigy or something like that, you know, a GM, you know, even even the best GM, they still lose too. Magnus Carlsen still loses too. So how do you handle when you lose? I know it took me a while to kind of learn and uh, be able to handle that. I remember one year I was playing in uh, one of the big open tournaments out here where I live at, and uh, I lost in the first round to a to a player who I was much better than, and uh, I knew I shouldn't have lost, and uh, I was so angry. You know, immediately after the round, I got into the car and just drove for like 30 minutes straight. You know, just just letting steam off, and uh, eventually I calmed down and I kind of learned how to handle my losses better. And uh, it takes time though. So go ahead and put it in the comments. You know, let me know how you guys handle, you know, your losses and everything. Because one thing that I did learn about chess is that, you know, that's how you grow. That's how you get better. You get better by when you lose, then you learn from your losses and hopefully you won't make the same mistakes again. Uh, it's really related to life. Life is the same way, you know. When you make a mistake in life, Hopefully you learn from that and then you grow and you won't make the same mistakes again. So, hey guys, just let me know what you think about that and leave your comments in the in the comment field. See you at the next stop. Okay guys, we're at Walmart and uh, Salima wanted to say hi to everybody. Hi guys, look out for my blog coming soon. Look out for Salima J. All the entertainment, latest and greatest. So look out for me. Okay, guys, she's going to be uh, hot on the scene. Salima J, she's going to be doing entertainment blogging, and she's going to be doing uh, a lifestyle blog. So be on the lookout for Salima J. Hey, guys, we're getting ready to get that grocery shopping done. We're at Walmart. You know, you can get the good deals at Walmart. So I'll show y'all what we get in the process and along the hey, way. guys, when you get your fruit... Do you get your fruit that's already cut up? Because uh, me, I'm lazy. I don't like to cut my fruit up. Let's see. Yeah, you pay a little bit more for it. But it's only a few dollars more. Guys, let me know what you think. Okay, guys. You got to be real careful when you're buying your soups and stuff. Because soups, they can contain a lot of sodium in it. So, like, you have your healthy choice... Uh, healthy request sirloin burger and then you have the regular sirloin burger now if you look at the regular one it's got per container it's got 1720 milligrams of sodium and then if you take the healthy one the healthy request version same thing but you look at the sodium it's got uh, what is it on there 410 milligrams uh, times two though so that's 820 milligrams total so it's got half the sodium in the healthy version and it tastes pretty much the same so you have to be real careful when you're buying your soups and things like that lunch meat is the same way it's got a lot of sodium in it so it's just things to keep keep in mind when you do your shopping and trying to eat healthy and going forward like my new look I think the next chess tournament that I go to I'm going it's gonna be my new my new look my new threads. Okay, guys, we just got done doing our little grocery shopping. I spent a hundred and ten dollars this week. When I go to the grocery store, I spend over a hundred dollars every time. She spends like forty dollars. It's not fair. See, we, we alternate. I do the shopping one week. She does it the very next week. When she goes, she spends like thirty dollars. I'm always spending a couple hundred. It's a conspiracy, guys. It's not fair. I need you to have my back on this one. A true lady. Team Dan. Okay, guys, we're at one of our 
uh, more common places that we go to called Raising Cane's. You guys been there before? They have really good chicken tenders and uh, french fries, like steak fries. So we're gonna go ahead, go in, and we're about to smash. Okay guys, so we're at Raising Cane's. And uh, as you can see, I've got four piece chicken dinner, big old piece of bread, coleslaw. And Salima got the same thing. Say hi, Salima. <laughs> See y'all next time. We're about to go okay, in. Okay, guys, so we're back from shopping and eating and having a day out and about running errands. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Stay tuned for vlog number three coming up after this. Stay tuned for more lessons. Stay tuned for more tactics and game analysis. And uh, I'm going to continue to bring y'all current and up-to-date content on this channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all next time. Bye. Stay tuned.